you know, the world can be kind of hectic. Everything's twisted all over and it's hard to see where you're going to go. So it seems odd to find a game with exactly that premise, <laughs> relaxing. And yet, here we are with Oxytone. Oxytone is a puzzle game um, that was just released, I want to say about two weeks ago, uh, by the time this video goes out. Oh, November 22nd, 2003. I think I came across a demo during one of Next Fest, and... Well, you can see it as title screen. It's simple and calming. It's also mesmerizing, just watching the little light go through the paths. And it's your job to build them. As a side note, I... <laughs> For an attract mode, this this is a wonderful title screen in track mode, I just have to say. <laughs> I, could, I could just stare at this all day. But let's get a game started and see how this works. So this that I am playing is a demo. For this video, that is. Um, it is a demo. And some things are not available because it's in the demo. But you can see there are multiple maps that you can go through. The demo is still available, by the way, on Steam if you would like to check it out. Let's start with Void. Now, Void puts you in a blank space. Oh, whoops. You know what? Let's restart that. Void puts you in a blank space. And here we are. Here's the camera we're with. I'm like dragging it around as far as I can go. And you can see like there's, there's nothing around. My mistake was clicking the place to tile button just now. <laughs> but yes, this you can you, you can you can see around and there's nothing here. And that's up to us. We start with 33 tiles, as you see in the corner. As far as I can tell, the tiles are randomly generated. And you just want to create as long of a path as you can without getting back to the center or running out of tiles. Depending on how you place a tile, uh, that will determine which path your little light, this thing here, will go. So right now, if I place the tile like this, the light will go travel over to this hex because it will follow this path. If I place the tile like this, it'll travel over to this hex on the right because of following that path. Each side has two possible paths. And so if you manage to fill up all the lines in a tile, you get extra tiles. On the other hand, if you loop yourself back to the beginning, the game ends. Very simple. I, I've clearly never gotten the lowest possible score before. <laughs> okay, let, let, let's... Let's do this again. This time with feeling. <laughs> it's 
so this is a smaller smaller stage I want to say it's got 33 tiles um, but the big trouble with with having it be a void like this is that you know you you expand so far that it gets hard to loop back into the places you started in and so it's hard to create longer tile lengths because your lengths depend on how many tiles the light travels through. So this is an additional tile length. Seven, two, three, four, five, six. So the light has traveled seven. Oh, wait, no, no, not seven. Oh, uh, I've placed five tiles, but the light has ducked back over tiles. So one, two, three, four, five, six. But when it goes back over the same length, then you get an additional point for every additional tile it goes through. And that's why I have seven points. Uh, this is going to get me one, two, three. This is going to get to 13. If I did the math right. Like that. I don't often do math right, but it does feel satisfying when I do. And so, you know, it, it's very easy to just play this and just let it travel where it goes, wherever it wants to go. See where it takes you. But if you want to try and get a higher score, you're going to have to try and make your little light traverse as long of a path as it can. And so that's that's why you see me right now sort of twisting around, ducking, trying to figure out how I can get this to loop back. Well, I'm going to use this one here. Because that's nice and convenient. And then you see, as, as you build a more complete path, you can see how these loops and turns form. Of course, you can also close off a path like this right here. This will never be lit up if I click and set the tile like that. And we don't want that, do we? Let's travel down there. See if I can loop back around. And as I mentioned, the tiles are randomly generated as far as I can tell. You can certainly discard a tile. If it's just not making the connections you want at all, throw it away. But then you've lost a tile. So, tricky, tricky decisions. There was nothing wrong with that tile just now, by the way. I just wanted to demonstrate it. <laughs> it's possible to do that. Let's loop back here. And if I, I do this, we'll loop back to this hex. And because it went through six tiles, this tile gets lit up. I think it's bronze as compared to the default tile. Now this is not meant to be a walkthrough or an explanation of game mechanics in any way. This is just observations I've made while playing the demo. But it's a very nice demo. That sounds trite. I, I, I've been enjoying <laughs> I've been enjoying my time with the demo quite a bit and that's why you're getting a video about this game because it's just nice and chill relaxing. There's a little bit of logic to it. Trying to puzzle out the best paths. 
Um, sometimes there are achievements. This is not a place where I can do said achievement. But sometimes there are achievements for filling a tile in just one single turn because everything is placed just right so that you can loop your way through an entire tile in one go. Of course, this is void. It won't let you do that. But if you didn't want to think about it, if you didn't want to go for those achievements, if you just wanted to have a nice, chill time in this world that is blank nothingness, and truly, who could or would blame you? There we go, I wanted to get back to the sex. Well then, Oxytone is totally okay with you doing that as well. Ah, I've got 10 tiles left. My time on this stage is coming to an end. You may have seen when I started this. I'm not going. If if I clicked here, this would send me back to start. And let's let we don't want that. Let's not have that. Let's find a different way of enjoying the rest of our time here, shall we? Um, but you may have seen at the start of this stage, it suggested that. There were challenges I could beat. And of course, there are challenges for length. How many times? This is your length down here in the corner. Um, not length, sorry, points. That's your points down here in the corner. Length, how many tiles you run through. I wonder if there's a challenge for how many you can fill up. You also might have noticed when I've been turning that, hey, these both go. This one and this orientation both loops through. And one, two, three, four, that, that'll get me four. So I like those. But the path they create is just just a little different because of how the lines are aligned. So if I click this, then it'll put me on this side of the path. Of this side. Uh, well, on, on this, <laughs> on the left uh, path of this side. Words. Okay, you can do this. And if I click it like this, it'll put me on the right. I'm going to use left because I've found often that if I want to loop back, Further does tend to be more common. So it's more likely for me to go like this, to stretch out further if I want to loop back. And if I had been on the right side, that would have been more likely to send me up towards the void. Granted, again, this is all procedurally generated? I don't know. <laughs> so I might just be pulling all of this out of my butt because here, if I align it like this, then the, yeah, this will send, the left side sends me out to the void and the right side sends me circling back into this path. Meanwhile, this sends me looping around quite a bit. We can also get a fully cleared tile. So let's go ahead and go this way. Oh, look at that. That beautifully filled blue. Hmm. I think we'll loop back around this way. Of course, you want to fill up as many tiles as you can. 
because that will get you additional tiles and it'll extend your playtime. I haven't been doing a very good job of this, so you'll have to forgive me. <laughs> I think we'll, we'll go with this one. And then the more tiles you build, the more recursive that path will be, the more it'll loop back on itself, because you can find it more easy to reconnect. Yeah, let's go with this one, because I want another one fully built in tile. It's very simple. I keep saying that because I don't really have much to describe about the, uh, about the gameplay anymore. It's simple, but it's satisfying is what it is. Like I said, it's easy to just sort of take this time to chill, head empty, building a long blue line. Now that I've run out of tiles, it is game over. Ah, there we go. Best chain. How many, how many tiles I got in a row? Of course, if you meet whatever point, whatever point base it wants you to, then you'll unlock challenges, which is what these are. This one started you off with 33 tiles. I'm a little curious to see which one this starts you off with. Presumably, it's increased difficulty. Oh, increased tiles. So it's increased difficulty. Well, let's get on out of here. I just really like how dramatic that is. <laughs> and of course, you've been seeing that there, there are trophies. I got the lowest score. I've played 10 times. I haven't really been playing this demo too long. Um, because what happened was after the next fest, this demo got updated as it got closer and closer to full release. And when I next came back, it had released. So everything was reset. Here we are. Lowest possible score. I have no idea what map cards are <laughs> because I haven't uh, anywhere there. And of course you can get to 10 tiles and get m more tiles by filling up the lines of blue and then get back to 10 tiles so you hear the warning again. So you can certainly get achievements which as it mentions, unlock re rewards. These little gems, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus two. And with those gems, you can buy things to change how this looks. Let's go ahead and buy a background color. Get that changed. And I do quite like teal. So let's go ahead and try try around with this. And just just to show off the settings. You can change the resolution of the game. Uh, that'll change the size of the window if you have it on if you have full screen off. Um, so resolution really is just window size. Um, but they don't show you the pixel numbers. It'll go up to like 4K and such, which I thought was an interesting way to go about it because as you can see, it's, it's not really too graphically heavy. This is the quality. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at colors. Uh, you know what? 
I clearly haven't unlocked this yet, so let's go ahead and give it a try. Can I get 2,000 points in this video? To unlock the challenges. I'm not going to be able to unlock the next map. Oh, whoops. Uh, I clicked by accident. But I realized... I want to show you what base colors looks like, because you can sort of see it here. With colors, the map is already closed off. Unlike Void, where you could sort of explore. Endlessly. You can only play so many tiles in colors. Oh no, I've done it. I'm beginning to count how many tiles you can place in colors. <laughs> um, that's 15, 15, 30. You can only place up to 36 tiles in colors. And you know what? Now that I'm here, let's go ahead and, and play around. Just to show you what it really looks like when you can loop back on yourself. Because, oh, that's so satisfying. And now some of you may be thinking, trying to plot this out, okay, well early on, you clearly don't want to loop back on yourself too much because you want to leave all those lines nice and open for you to come back onto. Oh, you know what? Here, here's a chance for me to close that off so I won't have to worry about considering this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And if that's a strategy that you feel like going for, go for it. There is no in way, invalid way to play this game. I mean, sure, there are probably better ways. But I'm not here to talk strategy with you. I'm here to show off... A puzzle game that I have enjoyed relaxing with. And I seek I say this as someone who really does like relaxing with puzzle games. Like I'll I'll play logic games just to unwind or to sober up. <laughs> Here we go. Look at that. Nice long drive. Well, I don't want to duck back in on the start. That's a little troublesome. Oh, but I can close it off here too. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, of course, the problem with closing it off is I sort of tell myself that I'm never really going to be able to make these tiles completely filled. And that's just a little, a little sad. Because, yeah, it, it would be nice to, to get those extra uh, tiles. Get those extra points. But it also doesn't really matter. Because you can only place so many tiles in, in these kinds of stages anyway. Another fun thing is just as you're twisting. To see the paths that get created. For example, like this, then I, I mean I can't actually go on this path. And I, I don't want this to loop, but it'll go around and loop this way. And that seems like fun. Also, at some point I closed this and I did not realize. Oh my. Wasn't paying attention. And this one has a fun loop added for what's basically the exact same experience. You know, I'm going to put it down like this because that path looks like it'd be fun to go around to eventually. And you know, that's that's just how I choose to play this game. I want to make fun paths. While also like not putting myself in a lose condition if I can't help it. Oh, look at that. 14 in a row, and that gets us a silver tile. It really is satisfying the longer you can get it to go. 
Two completed tiles in a row. Hmm. Let's go with this path. This is tricky because it's so easy to close these off. And I don't want that. So I just have to make sure not to do it. Of course, that means paying attention, and we all know I'm not the best at that. But at least these are easy to tell, <laughs> for the most part. <laughs> I, I did screw up that one there. Now we're beginning to get into parts of the board that I haven't been to yet because I, I've been having fun looping around up here. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pop on down in here. Ooh, that closes that off. Wouldn't want that. But this, this combination sends us flying all over the place. Let's go ahead and do that. could have been so close to filling this tile in like one placement. <laughs> but it was not meant to be. Oh, I can I can close this tile off as well. So I'm going to do it. Let's go ahead and extend ourselves out to the wild blue yonder. Oh, we're going to close this light off as well. Because I can. Because I can. That's, that's all you need as a reason, I think. I can do it. So I want it to. Hmm. Sure, let's, let's soup on over here. Now, the thing with doing stuff like user experience reviews or let's plays or like streaming rather, let's say, um, is people don't know what you're thinking, right? So you have to get used to talking out loud. And as I've mentioned, sometimes I just play this as head empty, no thoughts. This looks nice. Instinct says to click. Um, but sometimes I'll, I'll count where it'll take me. So this, if I place this tile like this, one, two, bounce back, three, four, this will kick me through four tiles. If I place the tile like this, it'll go one, two, three, four, five, watch that loop, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And, you know, hopefully I can close this side off as well. So let's give that a try. And maybe, hopefully, someday we can come back here and <laughs> bounce through these empty spaces. Ooh, that immediate placement. Yes, I can. Now, of course, I could see, hey, which one will loop me back through everything? Uh, but now there is only one beginning and one ending. And it goes down here, so that's what I'll have to watch out for. But for the rest of this map, since I was able to, to get that to close off, I'm pretty free. And we're down to 10 tiles now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Exa we have exactly 10 tiles left. That's perfect. Let's 
Let's see about head making our way up here then. Now, granted, some of these might have become convoluted loops. Let me go ahead and drag the camera over. Some of these white lines may have become convoluted loops that I closed off and did not realize. I don't see anything that looks like it, ha it has. There's, there's enough open spots. But that does happen. Oh, let me just try and get back to where we were. So it's worth watching out for. I think we're just gonna heck in here. And that's gonna send us on that fun trail we created earlier. But better. Oxytone's so satisfying to play when, when you can get that to happen. I think if I placed a tile like this, it, it, it'll, it'll set off another long loop. But I just, I just want to take a quick look. This will send me down this way if I set the tile like that. Because you, you can do the count, but... As the trail gets longer, it gets harder to count. Like this is one, two, three, four, five, six. You can see my mouse going through, the, following the trail to count it. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Whereas this other one that I'd been looking at, uh, that'll send me down there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, come on, 18, 19, sends me down there. And this one will send me on a loop going around to here. This one's a shorter loop. Like at some point it just becomes tiring to count. Just, just enjoy the mess you've made writing itself. You know? That said, and I did just say that, I want us to go through this loop. Luckily, there are only six permutations per tile. <laughs> so if you are a counter, you don't have to count for too long. for the second time. Alright, well, this one has a chance of closing off. Three sides. Four sides! Here you go, this is a slightly longer loop, but it is a loop nonetheless. So we can only put it if we want to try and maximize our loop. This way? Or this way? It's a shame because this is one of those where, yeah, we, we could have. Could have filled out the entire tile. Oh, we have a double hole tile. I'm not sure how I got that to happen. This one is the one I have to be careful for. This line here, because it leads back to the beginning. 
So maybe I don't want to go there just yet. Have I set myself up so that all paths lead to this tile? I may have. And of course, if I throw this one out, then I, I have tossed out a gold tile. Maybe we'll chance it. Because, yes, okay. So here it is. Now it leads here. If I put the tile like this. And of course we have one of these things. Oh, but it goes through a satisfying loop if I try to close it off. So maybe not. Um, since we don't really have many tiles left anyway. Yes, if I make it like this, then I'm going to end the game. So we're not going to use that one. Um, since we don't have many tiles left anyway, let's just try to take the longest path we can. That won't put us in a game and stay. Yeah, that'll take us through this loop. So let's do it. Because there's six entry, six possible entry ways to start to the starting time. I don't think it's ever possible to completely fill the board, but it sure would be cool if you could, wouldn't it? Also, as, as a personal side note, I love how dramatic the music gets. As you hit more tiles, it, it does feel like a bit of a tonal shift from... <laughs> from this normal, chill, cool vibe. Let's go with this one. And... Okay, this is the path that'll take us to the end, but this is also the last tile we can place. So, no matter what, at some point, we are going to hit the end here. So let's just see how, how, how far we can go on this journey. It is a silver tile. And I think the silver tiles may give you more points. doesn't seem like I can do anything about not having to close off something. Like it'll be a convoluted loop, but then I'll have closed off this path here if I place the tile like this. So the, this, this little gray string here try to draw it with my cursor it becomes closed off and I can't run through it because here we are moves back here and at no point will the light ever reach it and like this then I'll have closed off this loop, loop here which is a smaller loop to be fair about this oh you know what this this is probably gonna be my best bet I do close off this little thing here but that's okay this is our last tile let's fill out that board as best as we can
points. I've never actually gotten this high, as you can tell from like all these medals and trophies I'm getting. <laughs> 12,000, what a nice score. And of course that final chain of 47. Let's take a look at that. I filled out all the bronze challenges, so this has turned bronze. I hit the gold score challenge. <laughs> I didn't expect to get that high. And of course, the money I'd spent, well, these are locked because of demo, probably. The money I'd spent to unlock these, I've earned it back. The money, gems, whatever you want to call it. Let's change that up, shall we? We have the gems for it. Oh, this seems kind of <laughs> kind of mean. There we go. That that's a computer looking style. All right, let's let's go ahead and peek at this again one more time to to round out this video. I don't expect to unlock the next map. Were those tiles gold already when we got in last time? I don't remember. <laughs> but it does look like hay. There's some nice looping that'll happen around here if we can get out there. So let's let's go ahead and make our move towards the edges. And of course, the big problem is with, with, with these little rings is you don't want to close anything off. Oh, th this closes that off with, with a particular shape. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. It'll loop us back out here, but it does leave that potentially open. Let's see if we can get into another corner. There we go. That'll get some nice looping going on. Oh, we could just change this into an entire ring. But this, this looks nice. Let's loop this way. So yes, this, this is Oxytone. It's a low stakes game. You're not having to save the world or get rid of an evil computer virus. It's just nice, chill, casual, calm. Relaxing vibes for a relaxing time. Well, Unless you get like a major combo, of course. Then 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 you get the club beats. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be that. Like I said, you can play Oxytone however you want to. Even if, if that that method is head empty, pretty lines. Let's try and not close that off. Oh, this will send us looping back this way. I like that. Like I said, head empty. Pretty lines. And we can go ahead and
closed this off, it looks like, so why not? Let's slip back around this way and start getting into this corner of the board. Of course, the, as as your map gets bigger and your board gets wider, it can be harder to to really judge where your paths will take you and how much looping you'll get to do. So I, I am saying that what, what, what I managed to achieve with the last board was definitely one hell of a nice coincidence that I am, I am going to enjoy for the rest of the night. <laughs> Sometimes you decide to record yourself to make a YouTube video and you get a really, really nice score. What a lucky break. continue further down in here. Just have to watch out and make sure I don't close off anything. Ooh. I think either way I am going to end up closing out because I've already blocked off this end. I don't like that, so let's get rid of this tile. Getting rid of tiles can be useful too. Hmm. There we go. That keeps it open. I think. Or, or is it just a very convoluted way? No, it is still just a very convoluted way. If there's like some way that I can bounce over there, that would be good. Oh, I, I suppose there is. I would just have to cut myself off on this screen, on one of these, so that's what we'll do. Sometimes you have to sacrifice nice loops for game longevity. Look at the way this bounces back. Oh, this would be such a nice loop. But let's get ourselves in this corner because that'll loop us back out, hopefully. And of course the game did tell us it's getting close to the end of our time with Oxytone. Oh, that's right, I closed this part off. Well, we'll get what we can. Hard to complain about that. And sometimes, of course, you can see yourself potentially creating loops that'll close. Like, if I turn it this way and this way, it'll both connect back to this, this hex. And so the wrong line could close off this loop. But you never know until you get the tile.
what it'll end up as. So I am going to go ahead and let us have this fun. As long as I don't connect these two together, it'll be fine. Like so. <laughs> don't do that. Let's loop around back there. Oh, that's right. This is close. This is right next to the start point. I don't want to watch out. We only have six tiles left, but we're still having such a nice time together. Let's go as far as we can. I do want to get in there. That'll close off a loop though. So let's not do that. I want to get in there so that I I don't close this part off. So even though it would be nice to like loop back around here, that's gonna be a nice long light. I think ultimately. I want a path that'll take me into this area. And yet yeah, that that will let me loop around all of this. Isn't that lovely? And there we go. Filled it on the first turn. I got that trophy right now. Sorry, you were a sacrifice for the greater good. <laughs> uh, this will still loop me back around. I, I guess I already set this off in motion, so yeah, let's try and go here. but while hitting as much as we can. Yeah, this will put me there. So we can try and fill in what we can of this ring. Just keep making our way in slowly. but also while looping as much as we can. Oh, it looks like we're gonna begin to get closed off here. So while this is a bronze tile... Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe I can save it. Looks like I can. I'm gonna have to cut myself off of one, these two, but it is definitely savable. I'll just cut off this corner. <laughs> and there we go. We'll go ahead and look through that too. Get that nice full clear in one go for a second time. This 
just immediately closes that off. Oh my. And let's go ahead and complete these tiles as well. You might have noticed I said we were down to six earlier, but because we filled out so many tiles, here we are back at 14. Now, just gotta watch out for this thing, of course. This line right here. Don't want to connect to that. And if I happen to be... to go here and end up next to the starting tile, then let's see if we can close that off as well. Now let's go ahead and flow that way. Alas, I am unable to close this one off, which was which was the lovely strategy that let me fill out quite a bit of the board last time. <laughs> so no matter what we do, we'll have openings. Unless... <laughs> I've wasted tiles. But I, I can create a loop this way, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and do just that. So this will be the next thing I have to worry about instead. So I will have to worry about this one instead because I have closed this loop. And yeah, that's, that's of course still a thing you can do. As long as you're mindful. of where the path you want to avoid connects to. Um, hmm. That'll throw that there. That will make the danger one here. So let's do that. I don't know about my understanding about that. No, I might. <laughs> I have 15 tiles now. Zoku is in the point of the game to like last as long as you can. Yes, yes it is. But I've already gotten my 2,000 points. <laughs> I've unlocked the challenges. At this point, this isn't about making a YouTube video anymore. This is just about having a nice chill time with the rest of this game. I think... I would like to end up down here. So let's start looping around this corner. See how far we can make it. Ooh, that might close things off. might not be able to get away without without having to close off one of these. So we'll bite. Ah, here we go. I've heard the warning for the third time. Because I managed to keep it going and resuscitate the game multiple times. So let's keep that going. I do think that my favorite thing to see is when it just winds its way around. Um, you know what? It's okay if we loop back out here. Here's the warning for the fourth time. 
<laughs> there we go. This is hardly likely to close itself off, so I feel okay about that one. I wonder how, what's the maximum amount of times you can hear that warning. <laughs> We're getting it quite a bit because of, of how these, these little rings make it so easy to fill out, fill out tiles. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll bite. Let's, let's go into the corner here. Oh yeah, where, 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 what, what was this one? No. Where, where was my problematic one again? This was my problematic line. It's over there in the corner. So I guess we are going to have to open a new one. A new possible line of. <laughs> A new possible ending. But I am going to go ahead and take advantage of that to close it off. And, you know, this is just what I said at the beginning of the video. Oxytone really is just like life. It takes you down winding paths and you don't know where you'll end up. I mean, you could, you, you could like try to count and like examine very closely where the paths will lead. And, and boy, would that be a time? Or you could just, you know, enjoy the ride. There we go. I believe this is a danger path. <laughs> let's see how let's see how, how, how much I got there. Uh, none of that counted towards challenges because I only unlocked it. Uh, but I also only got like about 4,000 in score anyway. And it says 75k. Wait, no, sorry. 25k is the first score challenge. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, I am going to go ahead and change those unlocks back. Because I do actually like the default color scheme of the game a lot. Um, so that was Oxytone. I didn't expect I was going to spend like an hour recording a video over this. But I really, really have enjoyed my time with the demo. Uh, and again, the demo is available on Steam right now. This game just released about on, on November 22nd. I've really enjoyed my time with the demo, and ooh, brain, brain, brain blanked out for a moment there. Look, looking at the lines, <laughs> head empty when you're playing the game, so not not when you're talking. Um, but no, I've really enjoyed my time with the demo. I hope you will as well, and if you do, of course, please go ahead, uh, buy the game, support Ox Games. There really is like a whole market for chill puzzles. And maybe I've just been looking in the wrong spaces. I, I feel like I don't see a lot of focus on them because they come off as casual games. But I think Oxytone is an example of how it's definitely possible to be casual and, and stimulating and just make the brain happy all at once. We'll see you next time.